Hello everyone, last lesson we learnt about complex number conjugates. Today we're going to talk about how we can use that concept in dividing complex numbers in standard form. So I'm just going to give you a complex number z, let's make it 3 minus 2i and and I'm going to define another complex number w as uh, let's make it 2 plus oh, I'll just use some different numbers 4 plus 5i okay now I'm going to find z divided by w now if you wanted to, you could convert both of these complex numbers to polar form and then do it that way. That will be a lot quicker. Um, sorry, that might be a bit slower. So what we want to do is just to put it in the fraction, just substituting the terms into the fraction. So it's 3 minus 2i over 4 plus 5i. Okay, so that's what z over w equals. However, if we were going to draw this on our argon diagram, there will be no way for us to draw it. Because what we want to do is to be able to express this complex number in the form of in the form of a plus b i so we know what the real part is and we know what the um, imaginary part is so then we can draw it on our argon diagram but how do we do that so we do that by a technique that we used earlier on for certs which is called rationalizing the denominator so if you remember with certs if we wanted to rationalize the denominator what we did was we multiplied both the top and the bottom of this fraction okay we multiply both the top and the bottom of this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator so the conjugate the conjugate of 4 plus 5i is equal to 4 minus 5i okay because we simply reverse the sign in the middle so if we multiply both the top and the bottom of this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator okay we multiply both the top and the bottom by 4 minus 5i okay and let's put this in brackets as well so we don't get confused then what happens is the bottom the denominator of this fraction will turn into a real number as we've shown you in the previous tutorial and that will help us to get it in the form of a plus bi and then we can draw it on our argon diagram okay so let's try that here so let's multiply the bottom out using binomial expansion so 4 times 4 is 16 4 times negative 5i is negative 20i plus 20i right because 5 times 4 is 20 5 times 5 negative 25 i squared okay so the bottom part I'm just gonna finish the bottom part first so it's 16 plus 25 so that's the bottom part is equal to 41 okay now let's do the top part so we got 
3 by 4 is 12 3 by negative 5 is negative 15 I minus 8 I plus 10 I squared okay because negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10 so then I have 12 minus negative 15 minus 8 that's negative 23i uh, minus 10 because i squared is negative 1 so that becomes 2 minus 23i over 41 now as you guys should know with fractions you can split up the fraction into 2 by keeping the denominator equal so it's 2 over 41 Sorry, that's a 1, not an i. 2 over 41 minus 23i over 41. Right, or if you want to write it as decimal form, so you can check whether it's right in GeoGebra. So I typed 2 over 41 in the calculator and I got 0 0.05. 23 over 41 is 0 0.56. So the answer is 0 0.05 minus 0 0.56i. So let's try typing this in in GeoGebra and see if it gives us the answer. So as you can see here, I have typed in Z1 is 3 minus 2i, which matches Z and Z2 is 4 plus 5i which matches W so now I'm going to do Z1 divided by Z2 and see what it gives me so I have Z3 which is equal to 0 0.05 minus 0 0.56i which is exactly what I have as the answer Okay, thanks guys for watching the tutorial on standard form division using conjugates. See you next time.